King Constantine of Greece rides to the cathedral to take his Danish bride, and a million people cheer this romance that seems to be something right out of a storybook. The young monarch chooses as his queen, Princess Anne Marie, youngest daughter of King Frederick IX, who accompanies the bride to the ceremony. At the metropolis, the Greek Orthodox Cathedral, 400 guests have assembled for the ceremony, a veritable roll call of the crowned heads and nobility of Europe. Representing President Johnson is his daughter, Linda Byrne. On the arm of her father, the radiant bride comes down the aisle for the ceremony that will unite the two ruling houses. King Constantine takes the arm of his bride as the half-hour ceremony begins. She was reared as a Lutheran, but now Anne-Marie plans to embrace Eastern Orthodoxy. The ceremony is conducted by the Archbishop of Athens and Primate of Greece, Chrysostomos, assisted by a score of high prelates. The Archbishop makes the sign of the cross on the foreheads of the couple before they exchange rings. And Marie's ring is made of coins dating back to Alexander the Great. As they exchange vows, the Archbishop offers the Bible for them to kiss to seal the pact. The chief witness, the groom's mother, Queen Frederica, does the same. The king and queen of the Hellenes but bride and groom to the crowd that cheers the newlyweds to the echo. Despite the heat, many in the crowd have stood since dawn to greet the couple. All know of the romance. They met when the bride was 12 years old and the king a grown-up 18. Her family was not too enthused about the romance, but love conquers all, including disapproving kings. The romance was conducted in English, but now the new queen intends to settle down and study Greek. The king ascended the throne when his father died six months ago, and at 24, is the world's youngest monarch. The happy couple is almost buried in an avalanche of paper as well as good wishes. They will honeymoon on a remote island in the Aegean Sea before returning to take up the affairs of state. The bride may not know the language, but she knows the Greeks have a word for it, happiness. Happiness.